Hello, today I wanted to make a very quick video showing you how to easily add a color picker into a React app. So a color picker is a component that I've had trouble with in the past, both in React and non in non-React applications. So this is a component that allows you to select color either in the hex code or RGB format. So the, the package we're going to be using to uh, the, to get this component from is going to be the Prime React library. It's super easy to install. I'll use I'll send a link in the description to the getting started page and also to the color picker page for the documentation there. So I'll also show you how to do it here. So let's get started by heading to Visual Studio Code. So what I've done is I have uh, started a new React app. I've changed app.js to app.jsx so I can use the JSS, JSX template uh, syntax. And then I have gotten rid of the default React application and replaced it just with this little uh, div here, this little uh, fragment. So all I've done is I have a grid here. I can get rid of these fragment pieces here actually. So I have this div that I've set to a flex container um, with some other styles just to make it easy to display. Uh, I set up two different states. So I've imported use state and I've set up two different states, color one and color two, one in the hex format and one in the RGB format which comes through as an object with three different keys, R, G, and B, and their corresponding values in a numerical form. Uh, I've also installed and imported the color picker, or the Prime React library, and I've imported color picker from that. So how, did, how do you do that? How do you do that? You come down into your terminal, and you either do yarn add or npm install. So I'll do yarn add Prime React, like so, and go ahead and press enter, and it will install for you. And then the last thing that I've done here is I have installed two uh, CSS files from Prime React. Again, in the getting started documentation, they're there. One is a theme file. Uh, there's many different theme files if you want a different look for your components. And then one is just the base Prime React file. Again, you can, you can use this library for your entire application or just for this one component if you'd like. Great, so to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and run yarn start. And it's going to bring up my browser. I'm going to come back to the app.jsx file here. I'm going to move this terminal down just so it's easier to see. And in this uh, flex container, I'm going to go ahead and come down to a new line and start a new color picker. So I'm going to open up a new color picker component here. I'm going to set the value equal to the color state here that we've set and the on change event equal to a function that takes in the event as a parameter and it's going to set the color to the event.value just like so. And then I'm going to have to go ahead and close this color picker here and save. And if I go back to the browser here, you can see there's a simple uh, overlay color picker component that showed up here. And as I change this, this value, you can see it's moving a bit uh, because of the display here. But this hex value over here changes it to the proper value. And also the display and this little uh, overlay here, this little overlay button changes to the proper color. Perfect, so that's super simple. Um, the last thing that I'm gonna show you is another color picker using two different properties. Um, neither of them, they are not required to be used together. They can be completely separate, but just for this, the purposes of this video, I'll show you them together. So I'm gonna start a new color picker here. And we're going to set the value equal to color2, which is the second state that we've set. The on change event is going to be equal to the same event parameter pass through, and it's going to set the color2, just like so, just like we did in the first one. And here are the two properties you're going to need. The first is format. So I'm going to set this equal to RGB. And if you don't set this, it comes through as a hex value as shown before. Actually, I just realized this default state should come through uh, without the without the pound sign there. And then the other one that I'm going to do is set inline. I don't even need to set that equals to true. Just set inline property there. And you'll see it is no longer overlay. It will be an inline. So it looks just like the pop-up, but instead of, uh, instead of being a pop-over like this, it's just inline and there's no button to open it. And as you can see, as I change this, it sets the proper uh, object key, key value pairs here to the RGB value. So I hope that video helped. Um, there's a few more options in the uh, documentation for this component. Again, super easy to use. 
Uh, I hope that you get to use it in your applications. So if it did, please like and subscribe.